Hello and welcome to highlights of match number two in this series between Afghanistan and Pakistan played in Sri Lanka, the venue again, Hambam Tota. Uh, Pakistan, of course, 1-0 up after that first game here just a couple of days ago. swing back into the right-hander. Runs, first boundary of the day, lovely stroke. Uh, let me tell you, this stroke is going to do a world of good for the confidence of Ibrahim. Not an easy stroke to execute uh, against a bowler like Shaheen Shah Afridi. He was angling the ball away made sure he came close to the line of the delivery and then full face of the bat, timed it well, gorgeous stroke. That's pulled away, pulled away and all the way. It seemed like he was waiting for the short fist delivery. And he pounced on it. And that was first six of the series. Right from the middle of the bat, he was well in control. Gurbaz. It's around chest high. Have a good bouncer, you get above shoulder high, above head high. That's where the batter loses control of the face of the bat. But as soon as it's chest high. Oh, that is... That is good from Mark Gurbaz. Just using the angle, helping the ball on its way. And he picks up second boundary of the over. That's good going. Just not sure Harris Ralph was back in his position that Baba Razam wanted him in. He had just returned from looking the ball, looking for the ball in the covers and got back on the ground and Shaheen Shah Afridi was in at him. And he found himself just a touch square. Pulled again. Nearly a very similar result, but he was onto this quickly because it wasn't that short. Well, this is what Ramanullah Gurbaz can do. You give him something a little bit loose, and he'll put you away. Yeah, you're right. It wasn't that short. Uh, yes, fix our outside edge. But. 8 out of 10 for the effort and it's a boundary one bounce over the rope that's, that's nice a good shot yes yeah, sorry that's a that's a great shot didn't get high kept the uh, bat on top of it kept it down hit it beautifully and the boundary it's 45 without loss after nine just the perfect length to play that pull shot Nicely played. Good roll of the wrist. The extension of the arms is so important. That means you pick the length early. That is a good sweep shot. I think there was an element of, well, not playing the one with the straight bat too well. Let's think about the sweep shot. It was pretty straight, that's for sure. But he's gone on length and he's gone and backed his ability to play this shot. When in doubt, play the sweep. As I say, so this was managed brilliantly. Good roll of the race and playing it down away from that fielder at square leg. A little shorter, that's a good pull shot. Good enough to split the gap between the two men in the deep. Good enough to find the boundary. Nice finish to the over for Afghanistan and for Ibrahim Zadran himself. It's 64 without loss after 14. Drives, gets it on. Half century for Gurbaz. Will be applauded by his teammates. A brilliant innings under pressure. Looking for redemption, he has provided the kind of redemption that Afghanistan required. Though slowest of his half centuries. He will take it. Rahmanullah Gurbaz having faced 72 deliveries to bring up his 
third 50 of his ODI international career. Down the track. Tremendous stroke. It's gone for six. That is a very strong intent shown from Rahmanullah Gurbas. Comes down the track. Plays it with the bounce. Look at this. Ball follows the ball through and plays it high and handsome. I can't stop but think about Ravi Chandra Ashwin saying that he used to bowl to Virinder Sehwag and Sehwag would say that I do not even, I mean, bother considering that you could get me out. So a huge shot by Ram Lagurbas, a drag down by Usama. And that went a long way. The massive stroke to a settled batsman like Gurbas. He's not going to miss out. A brilliant maximum. We've seen him come down the wicket already to spin, but here he uses his feet the other way. Just a little push off the front foot so that he can clear his left-hand side. Gets a good swing of the bat. He doesn't hit small sixes either, Ramanullah Gurbaz. He hits them a long way. That one, 82 meters. One or two wickets. We are in the game. That's outside it, deliberately played by... Ibrahim Zadran and goes for a boundary. This outfield value for stroke is the maximum. He might not have been trying to get this this fine, but he's certainly trying to get it behind. And it's gone very, very fine indeed. The outfield quick, the ground more like an upside down dinner plate. It runs downhill away from the square. Well, that's just lofted over mid-wicket and way for four. That is some stroke by Zadran. Pure class by Ibrahim Zadran. Wasn't slogging. Almost like a straight bat. Length was full by Usama. Drifting towards the next side and take a look at that for a stroke. Watching it till the end against the turn. And perfectly finding that gap. This is good start for the over for Afghanistan. The boundaries are so big and this is a poor delivery and gets the treatment gets the treatment 10 off two deliveries this is just what Sadran would have wanted this good batmanship let me tell you why the boundary delivery was full change of field means that the ball of it on up cannot bowl anything full Ibrahim Zadran just hanging in the back foot probably expecting it to be slightly shorter and that was very, very short and ample time. And that'll be 50. Not his most fluent innings, but a very important one nevertheless. Well played, young man. Worked really hard. He did mention about it's not the most fluent, but most effective, I should say. That allowed Ramla Gurbaz to play his natural game and be dangerous player that he is but this man on screen has done the bulk of the hard work that's a thick edge but it's on its way down to the boundary very very quickly up comes the 150 for Afghanistan barely made 50 the other night they are past the 150 mark now without loss what a turnaround if you ask me, how come? It was the combination of grit and common sense. The approach of the batters from the very beginning was the apt one. That's gone up in the air. It has gone wide of deep square leg. It has gone for four. Yeah, you're right. He has pulled the ball quite well. When, as a batsman, you start to pull the ball in front of square, it means... You're sighting the ball early. You're getting into good positions. And well in control of that stroke. Moves to 90s. Gurbaz. He's gone for it this time. He's going to have to hurry yeah. through. The misfield makes it very, very easy indeed. What an innings this has been. They've come back from the brink. They've come back from a horrible defeat two days ago to post 178 without loss for this opening partnership and Ramanullah Gurbaz has made his 100 with great style, great confidence 
great ability. What a magic moment that is for him. Uh, with his effort, he has certainly lifted the entire Afan team. Everybody is so happy for him. Getting a hundred against the Pakistani bowling attack is not a joke. He was looking for the ball before he goes straight away. He knows he's got just enough time to race through. The misfield, of course, made it even easier. You can see how much that means to him. So a personal goal, but a very, very important innings for that team as well. Horribly beaten in game number one. They've played themselves into a very good position here. Oh, that's a good shot. That has gone. Just helped on its way. It's gone a real distance. Yeah, we've spoken enough about Gurbaz. How about that stroke from Ibrahim? When he came out and executed that extra cover drive at the first over against Shaheen Shah Afridi, you knew he's going to be here for longer. And that was a big six from uh, Ibrahim. Oh, what's he done this time? He's managed to find the boundary, scooped it over the, the man at 45 degrees, but on the edge of the circle. So good awareness of where the field is, good awareness of what you can do. Now he's got it into T20 mold. Gurbaz premeditating, getting the ball in the zone and executing that stroke perfectly once again. Well, I'll tell you why that was so special as well, because... Ralph had also followed him. Uh, over there. Chipped over mid-wicket. Chipped over wide of long on, had he been there. So successive boundaries and real problems here for Barbara Azam, who's wondering what on earth do I have to do to place this field? And also the bowler, the first one, uh, the slow one, went for a boundary, seam up delivery going for a boundary. Confusing for the bowler at the moment. Noth nothing is working. And both these batters are on top at the moment. Well, the short ball is dealt with even more emphatically. That is three boundaries in a row. One innovative, one clever, and this one, well, it's just smacks it. Yeah, now he's dealing with the bowlers with a lot of disdain. He was dismissive with that stroke. Once again, pulling the ball in front of square. Uh, superb batting. Superb batting from Gurbaz. Oh, that's guided away very fine. Four and four. And the deft touch. Power. Oh, this man is... Highly talented Gurbaz and is showing Pakistan. Each of these boundaries has been different. Just proving the array of his talents. And although Harris Ralph tried to take the pace off. Great shot, great drive into the gap for four. This is lovely batting. He's finding new angles and he's middling everything now. Now gave him some room wanting to uh, bisect that gap through extra cover and mid-off and perfectly did Nassim Shah going full into of river swing but the batsman who has scored a hundred he's not going to miss out on that opportunity this smart batting gotcha. there is that slock sweep gets it past the man at deep Shine Shah Freedy could only watch it sail across one bounce over the fence <laughs> terrific strike from Gurbaz is pushing on to a 150 here. Smart batting. Remember, we're in second power play still. Only four feelers can be outside the circle. And the big gap, there has to be a gap either long on or mid wicket. And this time, Gurbaz was equal to the task. Fantastic shot. That's gone. And chance at long off. Finally, a wicket falls. But not before they've done a huge damage here. If, if the Khar takes a catch, all Pakistani fielders look just a little bit jaded and jolted by this great effort. 
Graham Zadran probably was trying to go over extra cover and inside out. But unfortunately, just couldn't get the elevation or the distance or the direction. Saying that, he was doing the right thing, trying to go for the big strokes, trying to maximize the opportunity of trying and get the 300. Take no, nothing away from Ibrahim Zadran's knock. Yes, the limelight has been with uh, Gurbaz, but this young man has played a pivotal role in these innings. Gone for 80, Afghanistan, 227 for one. And 300 is very much on the cards. Once again, head down, he runs hard, Gurbaz, he picks up two. 150 for Gurbaz. It's been a lot of sweat, a lot of hard work, a lot of class. And it's turning out to be a great innings. An opener getting you a 150 against Pakistan. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Deserves all the accolades, the applause. And congratulated there by Shadab Khan. Terrific innings. 255 for one. And out. Well, there you go. Shine Shah Fridi eventually gets his first wicket of the day. Trying to give himself room, gives it a full swing of the bat. The edge goes straight through to Rizwan. Yes, a very simple decision for the umpire just to acknowledge, but it's the end of a brilliant knock. Absolutely a proud moment. He's reached his milestone, got his maiden 150 in that too against the formidable attack of Pakistan. Well, bold, and he's given it. Now, was there an inside edge? There was a slight suspicion at the time, but it was slightly in swinging, very straight. Is that uh, the decision is indeed final. So fingers across the ball. Yeah, misses the bat, and it is plumb, isn't it? Absolutely plumb. So batsman would have known. Rashi would have known himself whether or not he'd got bat on it. That was the only reason to uh, dispute it. This time he goes for two. Uh, Afghanistan now 260 for three. Enough. And he was the one who gave the breakthrough, but there's a thing called commentator curse. And while we were talking about him, how beautiful he's bowled, he concedes a boundary in that too of the bat of Muhammad Nabi. He has hit this well. It's that short arm drag. It's, it's all, in the, all in the wrists here because it was full. And when it's that full, you haven't got the, the chance to go fully with the arms. Shorter, quicker, and equally dispatched. Well, four runs come, that very different sort of short arm jab. Well, this is the, expect the expectation from the middle order. Once you've been given such a wonderful platform by the two openers, is to come and accelerate towards the back end. You can play high risk cricket, If he hits, and he does, he is out by a distance. So yes, you might have to take some risks at the end of an innings like this, but it's good work from Shine Chafridi. Kept a very, very cool head here, because all that's happened is that ball has been dobbed on the offside. There was never a run in it, to be honest. Never a run in it. But you only get away with it if the fielder misses, and Shine Chafridi certainly didn't. Well, I think the idea is to give Nabi the strike, but Shahidullah Kamal not making much of an impact. Departs for only making one. Afghanistan at 274. Well, it's a full swing. It's a good edge. If there is such thing as a good edge, that's it. 277 for four. That one has gone over extra cover. It's the right-hander, not the left-hander, who has played the predicted shot. And he's hit it absolutely sweetly. 284 for four. Lovely stroke. Really is. Again, recognising where there is space on that offside with mid-off up, extra cover up. Well, he's hit oh. that, and he's hit it into the gap just a few yards short of the boundary, so eventually he's guessed right. Well, he swung at a few, hasn't he? This one he manages to uh, clatter over mid-wicket. Nassim Shah. 
Takes a bit of pace off. Nebi gets inside it again. And that is just simply taken. Didn't get it to extra cover. Got it to Imam on the cover boundary. He just took a few steps in. The plan was clear enough. The execution slightly off. And Pakistan pick up a wicket. First ball of this final over. They see the back of Muhammad Nabi, and I will need to make the correction. It's 67 runs they so far have scored in this power play, which is still not what you will have expected, considering what a platform they had. Muhammad Nabi goes back after making 29. Afghanistan are 294 for five. Mm, just within the guidelines. This one sort of tries his best to convince everyone that it's not quite a wide. So that brings to an end this Afghanistan innings. 50 overs complete. Asim Shah looks spent there. But 50 overs complete, nothing at all like there. <laughs> very, very different sort of innings in the previous game, the first of the series. 300 for five exactly at the end of their 50 overs. So Pakistan has spent the full 50 overs in the field. Their bowlers and fielders have been tested, sorely tested. Well, what a difference two days make. Bowled out for 59 in the first game, yet posting 300 for five in the 50 overs this time round. And brilliant innings. What a brilliant start it was. First of all, from Gorbaz, 151 from 151 balls. He was the dominant feature of that opening partnership that got brilliant support too from Ibrahim Zadran, 80 from 101. Things fell apart slightly after that, but nonetheless, Afghanistan would have been absolutely delighted and very proud of that 300 for five at the end of the 50 overs. In terms of the bowling uh, for Pakistan, well, the other day, two days ago, the paceman holds sway, they bowled Afghanistan, Afghanistan out for 59. It was a very, very different day on a slightly different pitch. So the figures today looked a bit different. Two for 58, Shine Shah Afridi. One for 45, Nassim. Nothing for Ralph. A 10 overs a spin from Sadab, but with without, without result, number 53. Uh, expensive overs from Musaba Mir, one for 61. And four overs from Iftikhar as well. So the target for Pakistan, their bowling was done. It was now down to the batsman to chase 301 to win. So, we are set for the start of the chase. Imam will huck to face, Faruqi to bowl. Well, that's one way of dealing with the challenge for Fakhar Zaman. Uses his feet well, gets the pitch, steers it through the gap at extra cover, just evades the extra cover. Yeah, he's been guilty of not moving his feet and this time around timing wasn't there but still enough force to take the ball to the boundary line there's the width now that's the width that allows a batsman to get on the front foot and it's a, it's a more cross bat shot than a straight bat shot because of that width now width also the length it was too short allowed afforded the batsman a lot of time to s decide where the ball is going to go. Yeah, coming back to the point you made, uh, Fakhar's technique. Oh, what well, that's a heave. That's an ungainly heave, but it's missed the man at short fine leg. Rolls away for four. That inside edge has earned him so many runs. Fakhar Zaman once again miscuing. picks up a boundary pull away from that fielder will pick up a boundary and this set up very nicely for him to roll his wrist over that short one and crack it to the fence that's gone into the gap on the pads, and that's his favorite area. Fakhar Zaman is now looking pretty decent. Strain on the pads. Plenty of deliveries today from Fazilak uh, Faruqi. Nicely kept away. He's not afraid to hit it over the top. Nicely timed and very well placed. 
of the inside edge lucky a streaky boundary for fakhar he's got this ability he possesses this great ability to turn from a regular batter to a guy who can play a bit of french cricket as well oh yeah as i was saying that's the perfect ball to bowl the in swinging ball finally does it for farooqi when he's trying to get there some momentum talking about just changing his line on that occasion for the link once again just waiting no footwork from him goal watching and he's managed to find the gap between bat and pad and hitting the top of the stumps top of the off stump a typical fast bowler's wicket puzzle is excited as they find the first wicket fakat the batsman out for 30 52 for one pakistan ah oh, what a way to start the innings flowing cover drive babar azam has made that look elegant and ridiculously easy duck in the previous innings but a classy stroke his favorite stroke the cover drive is leaning into the stroke and playing it all along the ground consistent in pace and bounce this has been turned away beautifully placed rashid khan will give it up a boundary that is such a good shot because it was an acute angle that was created and used the pace of mujib's delivery got it away from the stumps and somehow middled it no hard hands it's just soft wrist work from him for toss and clipped away nicely gorgeous stroke from babar azam to finish the 11th over 72 for 1 pakistan on the pads easily done by babar azam you don't want to bowl him there and that to a full toss that's not a good delivery drag down and put away that was too short imam had all the time to get on the back foot and smash this because there's oh he almost chopped back onto the stump good for him that he didn't get back onto the stump and this will have otherwise been the third time that nabi could have gone him out interestingly this is the third innings that imam is playing against afghanistan once he was run out sorry this is the fourth time actually and the two times previously nabi has gone him out now that's cut away for four this is a good over here for pakistan yeah once again muhammad nabi giving too much room that's too short too wide that's the arm ball that he tried to bowl to babar azam and he was on to it he will not miss it for the world caliber that babar azam has he'll smash this 10 out of 10 times to the boundary so two boundaries in this over for pakistan Oh no that'll be a whole heap of wides a whole heap of them that kind of day things not going your way early over a drop chance and in this over extra 5 run conceded Babar calls him through and that will be Imamul Haq's 18th one day international 50 Jack out appreciates the effort he's been the focused batter of Pakistan plays it late waits for the ball plays it by the merit what a reliable batsman he is turning into before Pakistan oh, that's a thick edge it's all along the ground it's found the gap running away down towards the boundary at third for four it's important one of these bowlers bowling in tandem try and try and bowl to get a wicket it's going through the motions at the moment yes mohammad nabi is trying to build up the dot deliveries but i think that's a nice shot that's a very very sweet shot indeed someone had to do it imam has tried he's looked as though he's trying to do it but it's babar azam who has used his feet beautifully there guided it straight over mid off and a boundary it is against the turn not a not a easy stroke to uh, play against no spin up oh that's why the slip was there 
That is so beautifully bold. And here's one of the cruelest ironies of this game of cricket. He's bowled it beautifully. Could have got his man out. Instead, what's happening? It is Barbarazm who's gone to his 27th ODI 50. Second against Afghanistan. That's in the air. A slow delivery and taken. This is a big wicket to have of Barbarazam who was looking good. Well, that is a bolt from the blue. It really is because Barbarazam didn't really look like getting out. He's just nudged and nurdled the ball with the occasional delightful cover drive. But here he just loops this. Almost as if for the first time today the ball just sticks in the surface. Heart in the mouth stuff there for a lot more than the Afghan players. All their supporters around the world. And you can see what it means. Ashmatullah Shahidi takes a very, very important catch. Muzzle Faruqi, a big wicket. Baba Razan, the captain, goes for 53. It's 170 for two. Down the track. Hedji chases run out. Yes! Hedji. We have started to celebrate already. Makes up big wicket here for Afghanistan to celebrate. He has sold his partner down the river. Wicket, wicket for Afghanistan. Two wickets in quick succession. Mohammed Rizwan, the batsman out for two. Pakistan derailing 176 for three. Pulls. And that will trouble, trickle into the boundary for four. Well, it's been a while since the last boundary, all of 32 deliveries. But this one is a drag down and well, he's composed enough. He's been searching for a boundary. That may release a little bit of pressure because Imam has certainly shown a little bit of nervousness in the last few overs. That might help him a little bit. Gets the ball behind square. Has he found the gap? Yes, he has. He bowls into the pitch. And at times, he bowls those deliveries short. And gives an opportunity to the batters to score runs. Straight driven. An authentic straight drive for four. There you go, Hilton, you mentioned that. He's better off looking to time the ball rather than bludgeoning it. And this time around, shimmy down the track and delayed the stroke ever so slightly to be able to time the ball and hit the ball into the gap. And he's been rewarded. Promise. Oh, this is out. This is out. Navi has got a wicket. Yeah, against the run of the play, Nabi has come on to ball and he has obliged the captain. And there was no need. There was no need. He was timing the ball so well. He was found finding boundaries at well. First delivery. And he tried to be cheeky, had to pay the price. 14 was the contribution from 15 deliveries, 208 for four. Agree? Yeah! This could be caught. Yes, he's out, caught on the boundary. Experiment didn't work for Pakistan. Another wicket for Nabi to celebrate. The batters like an opportunity to get in. They like a few balls to get in before they can accelerate. But he's obviously done what's asked of him, is to take it on, and if he gets out, it's okay. The reverse cup is implemented again, but this time it's held. And Afghanistan now are making serious inroads into this Pakistan batting lineup. It's Osama Mir who goes out without scoring. It's 208 for five. Catch it! And yeah! gone! This is super stuff from Mujib and Afghanistan. Imam ul -Haq has been removed from the scene and Pakistan slumped further. 
That was a magnificent delivery, an easy catch. A dolly, a lolly, whatever you say, Alex. Big your pardon, cover point. This is what good bowlers do. The situation demands for a wicket. He gets it done. Imamul Haq, a good knock, nevertheless. 91 of 105. Pakistan in trouble. 211 for six. This could be the chance now. When given the chance, if the heart can be lethal, it's a great start to the over. Four through the offside. I understand why Hasputala Shahidi keeping one over of Mujibur Rahman to the end. Bringing a fast bowler who has not had a good day at this occasion. I mean, two right handers in. And the wicket is not the easiest against spinners. When you have a left arm spinner, why not use it? That's the question I would like to ask. Help the cause. Shots like this will certainly make it easier. That's a boundary. Welcome boundary for Shadab Khan. So that is the problem. The pace can leak runs. Well, short and wide is what's known as an invitation. Gilt-edged invitation. Exactly what uh, Shadab would have actually, if he had a breakfast menu to stick outside his room, that would be on it. The required run rate is touch 12 now. Smack straight. Straight down the ground and that will be four. But this is desperately needed by Pakistan. Sounds good, but it has gone high. And uh, that, that is well taken. Mohammed Nabi had to make a lot of ground to come in from long on. That went high but had no distance. Was hanging in the air tantalizing maybe needed judging he judged it well kept his head and the hands were exactly where they needed to be whatever was told by the wicketkeeper Gurbaz has really worked the advice he took was able to land the ball in the right area crack the batsman of oh, what a well judged catch from Muhammad Abi. He's Iftikhar Ahmad departs after 17 Pakistan are 258 for 7 there go those levers, but he hasn't got hold of it. Yay! The catch is taken. It's Rashid Khan who keeps a cool head at wide mid-wicket. And that is exactly what Afghanistan wanted, exactly what Pakistan did not. Pace off, longer boundaries, not many has been able to clear the boundary line. And that's where Shahin Shah Afridi faltered, not the fielder, not the bowler. Shaheen Afridi goes out after making four. Pakistan are 272 for eight. Full toss. And it's in the gap. It's going to be through for four. So that full toss bisects those two men at a backward square leg at a deep mid wicket. That makes a difference. That makes things change. 11 runs needed. Oh, Faruqi. Oh, Faruqi. But they've got to check now to just check the exact point that Faruqi had got to in his action. Now, at that stage, he's got, he hasn't got anywhere near completing it. But yeah, Shadab is not you. watching he the bowler. The... That's within the laws, and he is out. One has to accept that. Now, that's been hit well. That's been hit very, very firmly. So Pakistan with just this one wicket left with Naseem and Ralph, it's Naseem on strike. He has hit that beautifully. They're still in the game. Yeah, it's reminiscent of uh, that T20 game. T20 World Cup game between uh, Pakistan and Afghanistan. Where Afghanistan was winning and Naseem Shah was the man who shattered the dreams. Right, where's he going to aim? There's men at long on, deep mid wicket, deep square leg, long off. Oh, it's gone through the gap, it slip. Afghanistan are frustrated almost at the absolute final moment. Pakistan somehow, with just that one wicket left, have found a way to win this game, have found a way to keep their record against Afghanistan intact. And Afghanistan, although they can be so proud of everything they've done today, will be so, so disappointed that right at the final moment, that cruel outside edge denies them victory. Well, what a finish that was. Ecstasy for Pakistan and sheer disappointment for Afghanistan.
Again, Imam al haq at the top of the innings, 91, played with great skill and great calmness. Baba this time, naught the first day, 53 today, made in good time as well. Then the wickets started to tumble, then Pakistan fell out of contention. Shadab Khan kept them in the hunt with that 48 from 35, but still, with the last wicket pair at the crease, runs were still required, and the outside edge from Nasim Shah took them past the finishing post, 302 for nine. And for Afghanistan in the field, well, they'll look at that penultimate over from Rahman, from Abdul Rahman. One for 83, his figures from 10 overs. Everyone else played their part, and you don't have to point the finger necessarily, but there was an option there, maybe, if the captain had thought ahead, to put the pressure on someone else in that penultimate over. Farouk, in the end, bowled the final over, couldn't do enough to stem the flow of runs, couldn't prevent Pakistan getting through, but again, the spinners for Afghanistan bowled absolutely beautifully. So 302 for night, the winning score for Pakistan. So the match summary, 300 for five off 50, played 302 for nine, off all bar 50 overs, 49.5. An extraordinary win for Pakistan by one wicket, which gives them the series 2-0. Well, what a game that was. One of the closest games you'll see, 300 runs chased down by Pakistan. And Afghanistan have one more chance to get the first victory ever against Pakistan in ODIs in the final match of the series in Colombo. We'll see you then.